What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Serenity1225, here from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. And today, I will be reviewing this perfume right here, which is from the house of Latafa. It's called Ragba. And, um... I like it. I don't know. For whatever reason, I am now obsessed with Middle Eastern fragrances. Ever since I found Oud for Glory by Latafa on Amazon, I have since ordered another two fragrances from the house of Latafa. And this is the first one that I have. And I'm going to be reviewing it. It's called Ragba. So this is how the box looks. I guess it's very Middle Eastern-esque. And I think it's beautiful. I, I think a I think the packaging is beautiful. I love the, the um, detailing that Latafa does with its packaging. Like the Oud for Glory. Like that is top tier packaging for me. This perfume came with a body spray. So um, I'm going to open it up and show you guys how it looks. Well, I've already worn this. And, you know, I'll get into it. So this is how it looks. This is the perfume. It's the parfum. This is how the parfum looks. The Ragba parfum. Uh, and then this is the little um, body spray that I'm using as a room spray um, because I've seen a, quite a few YouTubers that they didn't care for the body spray so they decided to use it like it was an air freshener so I decided to do the same shit so anyway this is how it looked it did okay it's very sleek for me it's very um, sophisticated the bottle is heavy just like the oud for glory so i'm going to get into the description as per amazon i purchased this on amazon august 26 it and i received it here in nassau on september 10th it has a 4.3 stars out of five on amazon ragba by latafa I paid $22.90 for these two items, uh, the two-piece set, and um, when I went back on Amazon to check the product again, it was $23.49. So let's get into the, the uh, description. Ragba for women is like having Middle Eastern baked sweets in a spice market. I know that's right warm cozy and smoky vanilla add a sweet elegance throughout this fragrance while the blend of oud sandalwood and amber create an enchanting incense base an overall great performance and fantastic addition to any collection the top notes are argowood oud saffron cinnamon the middle notes are rose and sandalwood Base notes, incense, amber, leather, musk, and vanilla. They say that it's a unisex fragrance, but in the beginning of the description, it said that it was for women, but whatever. And again, the main accords, vanilla, sweet, oud, powdery, amber, balsamic, smoky, woody, warm, spicy, musky. So, I'm going to do an on camera I've been using it already so I love it but for me it's not a beast mode fragrance I love my fragrances my fragrances to be very obnoxious like I am very aggressive in your face because when I step into the room I want to be like BAM BITCH <laughs> I, I want people to walk up to me and be like oh my god you smell so good what do you have on and then I'm gonna be like the gag is this is a middle eastern uh, fragrance that I only paid like under $30 for but anyway let me spray it and then I'll give you guys my impressions and my 
review of the product. So I think they call it the atomizer. The spray is pretty wide. And it smells really, really good. The first thing that I pick up on when I smell it is I definitely smell the saffron and the cinnamon. Um, I get the amber, I get the sandalwood, and I get the vanilla. So it really does smell sweet. And this thing lasts a very long time. I sprayed this, um, I picked this up on Saturday after I came from a funeral and I sprayed, I already had on the oud for glory, but I sprayed this motherfucker on me as well. And bitch, even though I took a bath, I still smelled ragba on my skin. Okay, I'm not even lying to you people. It's not a strong scent. It's it's somewhat to me it's, it's sweet, it's decadent, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's a little demure compared to what I like. I like aggressive, obnoxious scents. So this would be something that I would probably wear. I guess like at home if I'm running errands or something like that it's it's light and sweet and powdery but it isn't aggressive the way that I like my fragrances to smell so I have another one coming from the house of Latafa it should have been with this product but it got it was it was sent to another shipping company by mistake so I will definitely be getting that today and I will review that one. But I'm becoming a house of Latafa whore. Okay. I'm I'm really getting into these Middle Eastern fragrances. The price point is really, really, really good. They're affordable. And they last very long. Yes, 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 yes. Ragba is sweet. You know what I'm saying? They said it's like a Middle Eastern bake um bakery you know so uh, on a spice market so i feel like i'm traveling the world with these um middle eastern scents honey i may not i may never end up in the middle east but i sure as hell can smell like i've been there before that part so i like it um it's not my favorite so far out of the the fragrances that i've bought from the house of latafa but it's not bad and it's very feminine, sweet, powdery, fluffy, you know, this will be something that if you want to, I would, I would probably wear this when I'm going to bed because it's that, to me is that type of fragrance. It's not in your face, aggressive. It's sweet and demure, honey. And there ain't nothing sweet and demure about me, honey. I'm a hot mess express and I love it like that, okay? Anyway, people, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. That is my review of Ragba by the House of Latafa. It's a very sweet perfume and a perfume, I should say. Oh, I'm sorry. It was actually, I do believe it was 3.4 ounces. Yes, I forgot that part. It's 3.4 ounces. And um, let me just spray this thing here. So you get, you get, you get, I think you get a lot for the price. You know, it only being $22.90 and you got two items. So I would recommend it. I definitely would recommend it for those of you who are not beast mode connoisseurs like I am. And you need something that, you know, it hits that spot for you so this will hit that sweet this will hit that sweet spot for you so i love i love it but not as much as i love oud for glory i'm waiting on the next one to um reach my shipping company and have it in my possession i should have that today so i will be doing a review on that one as well anyway people that's my time i appreciate you guys for checking out my videos and i will see you in my next video peace